Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Think Future podcast. I'm your host, Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. You know, if you think about it, we all live in our own reality. Our reality basically lives inside our head. It is what we have experienced over the course of our lives, right? My reality is different from your reality. Your reality is different from everybody reali everybody's reality around you. Now, you may have some similar realities. So let's say you live with a, a brother, a sister, or parents, whatever, and you grew up under the same family, you grew up in the same roof, and you spent time together. So you may have some similarities in your reality, but the reality of realities is that we all carry our own reality within our heads, which is the sub the, the combination of everything we've ever experienced, everything we've ever thought, everything we've ever seen, everything we've ever heard, everything, 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 plus the decisions that we've made within ourselves and with the people around us. Our experience, our personal experience is our own reality. And I think this is why a lot of people say that diversity is essential. The diversity is essential because everyone lives in their own reality. And it's very, very difficult, even if you have a very similar reality to somebody else's reality. It's very, very difficult for you to understand someone else's reality without that person right there being able to tell you what their reality is all about. And that's why when you're innovating, it's important to have a clash of realities. And you have this clash of realities by bringing different people with different perspectives into the team. And I'm not talking simply about uh, visual diversity. I'm also talking about cognitive diversity. You have to have people who have brains that are wired differently from yours. And these brains are wired differently simply because they have alternate realities to you. I think there was a, there was a joke about a, a HuffPost uh, there was a, a HuffPost uh, editorial staff or something like that, and they're all white women. And people were saying, look at all these white women, and there's no diversity in this group of white women. And I look at that picture and I go, yes, there is, because each one of those women have undergone a completely different reality from every other one of those women. I'm not saying that it was right, and I'm not saying they shouldn't have brought in some people, people of color or other people of other diversities or men, et cetera, into the picture, all I'm saying is that when you see a group of people all together, no matter what they look like on the outside, they all have different realities. They all have different experiences. They all have different ways of looking at the world. And it's that kind of diversity. It's that cognitive diversity, which is the thing that you need when you're building an innovation team that is looking to build new diverse products and services. New innovative products and services require a diverse team because, okay, you can have, let me backtrack a bit. You can have inventions developed by a single individual. It is possible to develop these inventions. I know it, I've done it. There's plenty of people that we work with in our, in our workshop, workshops and invention programs where we do have individual inventors, individual innovators coming up with cool, new, disruptive ideas. That is true, it can be done. But the volume is so much greater when you clash these realities, when you pull teams together that can cross realities, that can, they can take bits and pieces of their own realities and combine them into something new, something greater than the sum of its parts. And that can be done when you bring these diverse realities in together, right? And it's almost, it might even be as simple as people with a different upbringing. They could be, they could look exactly the same on the outside, but they may have a completely different upbringing, which brings a completely different reality to the table when it comes to building diverse products and services. So like, like for example, when you spend all day sitting in the same social media bubble with all these people, you have a very similar reality to them. Maybe you don't want those people to help you build a new product or service because there's not enough diversity in the team. So that's what I'm saying is that look beyond the outside, bring the diversity of experience, bring the alternate realities of individuals into the ideation team, and you'll never know what amazing disruptive innovations you can get out of them. 
That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Thank you.